Now let's look at problem number 67. I'd like to find the critical points of this function, f of x is equal to 1 fifth x to the fifth minus a to the fourth x, where a is constant. Okay, so another problem where we have this constant a, and we're just going to treat it as if it were a 3. If, if that were 3 to the fourth, well, 3 to the fourth is a constant. So it's just some number. a to the fourth is just some number. And that's all we really care about right now is we're not going to treat it special or anything. It's just a number, a to the fourth. Okay, so as we go along, let's just remember that a to the fourth isn't anything special. It's just a number like three or something like that. Okay, so uh, let's take the derivative here. Uh, we want to find critical points. So the way that we do that is we take the derivative and find out where is that derivative either zero or undefined. So we take the derivative, f prime of x, and it's equal to uh, the derivative of 1 fifth x to the fifth is x to the fourth. And the derivative of negative a to the fourth x, well, remember that negative a to the fourth, that's just a constant. So if this were negative 3x, it would just be negative 3. So if it's negative a to the fourth x, it's just minus a to the fourth. So we've just got our derivative is x to the fourth minus a to the fourth. Okay, so we want to know where is this zero or where is it undefined? And it's pretty clear that we're not getting division by zero anywhere here. So we're just going to be concerned with where is this thing equal to zero. So we set it equal to zero. And we could move the negative a to the fourth to the other side and we get that a to the fourth is equal to x to the fourth. Uh, so we could take a fourth root of both sides, and we would get that x is equal to, uh, there's a temptation here to just say a, but we really should say that x could be plus or minus a, because if you think about it, if you took negative a, and you raised it to the fourth power, well, it would be the same as taking a to the fourth power. So if we take a fourth root, we really are going to get a plus or a minus a. And those are going to be my two critical points. So the critical points of the function 1 fifth x to the fifth minus a to the fourth x are just plus or minus a.